Hey there, we wanted to take a couple minutes to walk you through how to get some great photos for your virtual visit. The first tip, you'll just need to use a smartphone, something you already have around your house. Secondly, these photos are easier to get if you use a friend to help you. Selfies can be tricky and please don't take them in a mirror as they throw off the left and right. The third step is that good lighting is key, so find a bright room or use the flash feature on your smartphone. The fourth step is to get quality photos. Get in close, make sure they're in focus so that your orthodontist can come up with an accurate diagnosis. So what we'll do now is we'll walk you through the eight photos you ideally need. The first three are headshots. You just wanna get the head and the shoulders. The first is a frontal relaxed photo. Just look straight ahead, sort of like you're at the DMV. The second photo is gonna be frontal smiling, so the same position with a nice natural smile. The next photo is going to be a profile shot. So Anna is gonna turn 90 degrees to her left. She'll take her hair and she'll pull it behind her ear so we can see her jawline and her ear. The next five are inside the mouth, a little bit trickier, and there's two things you need to do. First, wash your hands thoroughly. Second, you can find some plastic spoons around your home to help move the cheeks out of the way. The first photo is the center photo, just so the teeth, and make sure you're biting down normally as you take these photos. The second photo is gonna be the right side, so leave the spoon in on the right side, keep the camera closest to the spoon, and then we'll do the left side. So you should take the spoon, put it in on the left side, and you get a great photo just like that. The last two are a little bit simpler. The first will be of the upper teeth. So chin up, open wide, where you can see the biting surface. The final photo is of the lower teeth. Tilt your chin down, try to keep the tongue out of the way, and we'll snap a good photo right there. With those eight photos, what you'll then do is you'll upload them via your orthodontist website. If you have any questions about that, reach out to your orthodontist for clarification. And thanks for watching.